1 divided by 4 is what? It's 0 0.125. That's the answer. 0.25. That's a very good answer. 0 0.125 is written in what? Fractions? Uh, nope. Percentages? Nope. So the third one is? Decimals. Decimals. That's correct. The calculator uses decimals. Yep. There might be a calculator on the internet that uses percentages, percentages and, and fractions. fractions. Or another one that talks. A talking calculator. That's very fun. That one would be fun because it would tell you 25%. Um, I rated very fun um, uh, 3%. 3%? I, I vote um, that it's rated rated 3 3%, 3% and so it's um, so it's almost very fun for me. Mm -hmm. All right, let me ask you several. What is 1 divided by 4? Do you remember it? This one you could memorize. Yes. You 0. Could... 0. 0. 0.25. 0. 0.25. Now, do you know how to write down 50 cents in money? Yes. On a piece of paper? Go ahead and write it down for me. In money? Like in money. money. In money. Fifty percent. Fifty cents? Yes. If you didn't know the answer, how could you get the answer? That is very good. That's using a little symbol. Not the dollar sign, but the other one. That's the cent sign, right? This is well done. Do you know another way of writing it? With the no circle. Oh, go ahead and show me the other way. Without any circle. Mm hmm. Yes. Si. Vale, pues aquí estoy. Oh. Y qué hora es? No, no way. 648. 50. When do you leave? Probably in an hour. Yeah, feel the fun at Dani. Asi, verdad? Para que avancen. Now I get it. Asi es. I said that's at 7. Mm. Seven's a good time. I think probably 748. No, no, it's too much it's time. Because it's 648. It's too much time. Now, what, what do I need to type in the calculator now? Alright, what was the last one? Both of them were similar. Show me both of them again. I want to compare them. 50 cents. 50 cents? There's no 50 cents in my, in my calculator. That's because the calculator only knows numbers. Yes. Maybe the talking calculator, you could say, write down 50 cents plus 10 cents. You know, and the calculator would tell you. All right, please uh, pass me the, Mr. California, pass me the piece of paper. There's no more space. Well, but you wrote on it, and I want to see the two different 50 cents that you wrote. Show me the one you wrote first, which one is 50 cents. And the other one? Oh, these are in words. Yep. Very good. There's a third way. You haven't... Uh, do you don't know it yet? Of course not. Okay. Instead of... Uh, you could use the dollar sign. Alright, you know that one? It's an S with two lines crossing it. Up and down. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll write it down for you. Give me a pen or something. I already have a pen. Give me a book so I could write it on it, on, on my lap here. You can... Yeah, I could use that. 
I won't write on it. I'll just use it as a put it down on my on my lap. Thanks. Fifty cents. Look, this is the third way. This is like if you're gonna add something. Do the dollar sign, right? One dollar. You know how to write one dollar? Yeah. Okay, write write one dollar. Just with one, one sibling. That's it. One point zero zero, and the dollar sign. You know how to do a dollar sign? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you're gonna add fifty cents, where do you put the po the point? Right under it, right? So this is one dollar plus fifty cents. Do you know the answer to that one? Oh, but you see, you don't need to put the that cent sign. You don't need to put it down if if you put the dollar sign. Zero plus zero, nothing. Zero plus five is still five. One plus nothing is one. And then put the dollar sign. So how much is fifty cents plus one dollar? Or one dollar plus fifty cents. One to one, one, one dollar and fifty cents. Very good. Now, fifty cents. You could write it like this, or you could write it like this without the cent sign. Just point five zero with the dollar sign. And we're working on twenty five cents. Write twenty five cents. I want you to memorize the twenty five cents. That says 25, it doesn't say cents yet. Alright, that's very good. Now, could you write it down? On words. One dollar plus 25 cents? You think you're done? Alright, later on you can show me... Uh, you could take a break then. Okay. Five, what did you learn, Robert? Equations. Okay. This is so easy. One dollar and twenty-five cents. The decimal about like this. Show me the paper sideways. The decimal about that. Okay. Uh, can you write down one problem for me? How you with the answer though? Like on a piece of paper. One whatever you you learned. And I'll do like an example one. Like okay? an example. Mm -hmm. What is an equation? All right. So here you wrote twenty-five cents, a dollar twenty-five. Very good. Twenty-five cents is a number you could memorize. Like, this is one example. You have to make the dots even. So ignore this dot right here, and you mm -hmm. put the dot here, and you put the two there. And so then what you subtract. are you adding? One point one plus twenty-two. No, 2.2. 2. But the One point is, is not in the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you just change it to there, and then it's going to be 2.2. 2. And your answer would be 3.3. You get it? It's not written well, because 22 plus 1.1... No, 2.2. But the point wasn't in the between them. You ignore it and put put the point there. I don't understand that math. Um, no, that's fine. You don't have to do any more. You learn, that's up to you. You don't learn, that's up to you. All right, come on, Mr. California. Come on. Yes. For whom? For your brother? Daniel. Yes. Am I finished or? No, we're still going to work on uh, percentages, fractions, and the other one. He wants to take a break, so that's why. All right, so. 
find out if you can use. Is this your book? No. No, it's mine. All right. It's so. his journal. He gets aggressive if 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 someone uses his journal. All right. So, do you have your own? Uh, no. So you don't have any piece of paper at all either. <coughs> they have no piece of paper. Where could you get a piece of paper? I don't know. What are you working on, math? Yes, of course. Let, let him log into his own account. Though. He doesn't He's, have an account. He needs to make his own, so that we can keep track of what he learned. Oh my gosh. All right, Robert. Do you know this? One dollar plus fifty cents. One dollar plus fifty cents. Mhm. Mm How much is it? A dollar and fifty cents. All right, and fifty cents plus twenty-five cents. Fifty cents plus twenty-five cents. Mhm. Mm Wait. A hint. No hints. So thirty-five cents. So he knows how to figure it out. See, that's what I want you to be able to do. I should never make. I should never uh, do hints to a smarter people. And to a smarter person, I should never give hints to a smart person. Because. Because they know the they know the answer, and the dumb and with the dumber people, mm -hmm. I could give them hints. All right. Uh, instead of using the word dumber, though, let's use the word. Less. Uh, when is your birthday? Less smart. Or. Anthony! My birthday, July 18. Huh? 